Understanding, count your points, a guide to English phrases. Hello everyone, and welcome to our latest English language learning video. Today, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, count your points. This phrase can be a bit tricky, but don't worry, we're here to break it down for you. So, let's get started and unlock the secrets of this interesting English expression. Firstly, let's look at the literal meaning of count your points. This phrase combines the verb count, which means to add up or calculate numbers, and points, which are units of measurement or score in a game or competition. Literally, it means to tally up points or scores you have earned in a game, a competition, or any other scenario where points are used. However, in everyday language, count your points is often used figuratively. It means to consider or enumerate the important facts, reasons, or aspects of a situation or argument. For instance, if someone says, before you decide, count your points, they're advising you to think carefully and consider all the important details before making a decision. Let's see some examples to understand this better. 1. Debate or discussion. In a debate, a speaker might say, let me count my points, before summarizing their main arguments. 2. Decision making. When making a difficult decision, someone might advise, count your points carefully before you choose. 3. Evaluating options. In business, a manager might say, we need to count our points before investing in this project. When using this phrase, remember it's more about quality than quantity. It's not just about listing facts, but about considering the weight and importance of each point. Avoid using it in contexts where literal counting or numerical tallying is involved, as it might cause confusion. And that wraps up our exploration of count your points. Remember, it's a versatile phrase that can add depth to your conversations and decision-making processes. We hope this video has been insightful and helps you use this phrase confidently in your English conversations. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to practice what you've learned today. See you in the next video.